At eight years old, little Hercules set the internet on fire with his shredded bod, but these days, he mostly sticks to setting himself on fire. The child known as Little Hercules is not some superhero comic creation brought to life by a little boy's birthday wish. His name is Richard Sandrak, and he gained international fame in the mid-2000s for his Atlas Man physique at just eight. By 2015, the Ukrainian-born Sandrak looked like a pretty typical guy and was making a living as a stuntman. Compared to what Sandrak's early years were like, when he reportedly slept on the floor to maintain his posture and performed hundreds of squats and push-ups on a daily basis, getting set on fire and jumping from buildings sounds like an improvement. Also, when some kids are at an age where picking their nose is a large part of their diet, Sandrak's calories were carefully monitored by his parents. While his parents enforcing a strict dietary regimen might appear like questionable parenting or even borderline child abuse, in a 2007 interview with The Guardian, Sandrak disagreed, claiming, I've never been forced to train or do anything against my will. It was mostly my choice. It's just what I grew up doing. I was never forced. It was never an issue. During his early fame, rumors about Sandrak raised eyebrows and fueled accusations that he only appeared so muscular at such a young age because of performance-enhancing drugs. It would be highly unlikely that anyone could achieve that type of physique without artificial enhancement. These steroid claims were repeatedly denied by Sandrak's mother, Lena. Sandrak was also reportedly forced to maintain 1% body fat, which, according to medical experts, is a potentially fatal level. Per the mirror, at the height of his fame, Sandrak claimed, Lots of people will come over to try to touch my abs and my muscles to check if it's fake or not. In the years since the viral images of Sandrak first arrived in our email spam folders, more details have emerged about the nature of his youth, with some of those claims first appearing in the 2005 documentary The World's Strongest Boy. Sandrak was born in Ukraine, but raised in Pennsylvania by his mother and father, with his father Pavel being primarily responsible for his kids' strict training and homeschooling. After gaining international recognition, Sandrak would earn thousands of dollars a month off his fame, though his career and finances were reportedly controlled by Pavel. This arrangement would later end when Pavel was sent to prison for breaking the wrist and nose of Lena during an altercation. According to the Daily Mirror, it was around that same time the 11-year-old Sandrak stopped bodybuilding. Sandrak made the move into Hollywood acting when he played the title role in the 2009 movie Little Hercules in 3D, alongside Hulk Hogan, Judd Nelson, Elliot Gould, and John Hurd. If you cannot survive on Earth for four days as a mortal, then you can never return to Mount Olympus. Never? According to The Guardian, another Sandrak film project was in the works, titled Fancy Moves. The movie was described by Sandrak's then-manager Marco Garcia as the karate kid with some hip-hop. Unfortunately, the movie never saw the light of day. In 2015, Inside Edition caught up with Sandrak to shed light on what the former bodybuilder had been up to since he fell out of the international spotlight. Employed at that time by Universal Studios Hollywood in their Waterworld Live show, Sandrak was paid to jump from buildings while on fire, sometimes five times a day. In regards to his early viral days as Little Hercules, Sandrak claimed to have no regrets. So I'm very proud of my past. It's not something that I don't want anybody to know anymore. It's just that I'm not going to be stuck living in it. In 2016, an Instagram post from Iron Man magazine claimed that Sandrak hoped to eventually work as a NASA engineer while maintaining his career in the movies. But over the last few years, he has otherwise kept a low profile. In December 2022, Sandrak's Instagram page was open to the public and with his bio saying, Fire bad, water good, me no like humans. By May 2023, it was made private with the bio saying simply, just here, and his profile picture being set to the blue and yellow of the Ukrainian flag. All in all, it sounds like Sandrak made the conscious decision to live a private life, something many young stars struggle to do. You could say Little Hercules found his personal Mount Olympus after all.